52 minutes past the hour. One of America's most popular and picturesque national parks has a little bit of a secret. Yellowstone in northwest Wyoming, land of geysers, mountains, and lakes, is also sitting atop a super volcano. And it just took what scientists describe as a deep breath, causing miles of ground to rise dramatically. So what does this mean? Well, joining us right now is Michio Kaku. He is a physics professor at the City University of New York and the author of the upcoming book, Physics of the Future. Thanks so much for joining us. Glad to be on. So um, the last time this happened was 640,000 years ago. We're due. We are due. Forget Yogi Bear. Okay, forget Old Faithful. It's on sitting on top of a sleeping giant. Now, if you're sleeping next to an 800-pound gorilla, you monitor every burp every snore of this gigantic gorilla because when it blows it could destroy the united states as we know it this is a, a pretty scary prospect i want to just show people what we're talking about here when we talk about this super volcano and we have a little uh thing to show you a map with some of the details so that's where it is it's um under beneath yellowstone it's been there as we know i guess this has erupted three times in 2.1 mil million years uh but what they're worried about is the fact that they say that the ground has started to swell in levels that they have not seen before 10 inches in some places in the past year what does that tell us it tells us that there is activity in this supervolcano, which erupts roughly every 600 million years. And the last eruption was 640 million years ago. Oh, 640 million or thousand? A, a thousand years okay, ago, okay. I'm sorry. Because right. then we had some more time. <laughs> then we have some more time, right. But that's what's making us very nervous, because the cycle time corresponds to the present day era. So every single burp, murmur of this gigantic potential supervolcano, including the rise of the sea level, has to be watched very carefully. All right, so when we talk about this, and we have pictures, uh, we have uh, pictures of Mount St. Helen erupting back in 1980. Let's just show this right now. You say that an explosion with this supervolcano under Yellowstone, and there we're seeing the Mount St. Helens, would be a thousand times bigger than this. What type of damage are we talking about here? We're talking about immediate damage out to 100 miles from the site that is total devastation, basically wiping out everything in sight. However, the real damage goes out to 500 miles if you include volcanic ash, poisonous gases, death of wildlife and vegetation, and that's a ring about a thousand miles across. That's yeah, the heartline of America. Uh, it, it would pretty much wipe out Earth as we know it? It would wipe out the United States as we know it. And again, we don't want to panic anybody. It could happen tomorrow or it could happen a hundred thousand years from now. It's black magic trying to predict exactly when it's going to blow, but we do know one thing. One day, it will blow. So and you say that something on this scale is what wiped out the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, another supervolcano coincided with this meteor that hit Mexico, and we think it was a double whammy that knocked out the dinosaurs. So it's something that we take very seriously, but again, the cycle time is measured on the scale of hundreds of thousands of years. Would there be anything we could do to prepare or to get people out? I mean, how much of a warning might we get with this eruption? All you can do is run. You don't get much warning. What happened is the, the ground starts to rise, more and more earthquakes take place, more ash and volcanic gases start to be unleashed. That's about the only warning we get, because we do not have a good way to predict volcanic eruptions. Are we getting a better way to do it, or are we just at the mercy of Mother Nature? We're still clueless. Uh, we're still monitoring it very carefully, looking for the warning signs. That's why this sudden rise in the Earth, even though it's not immediately dangerous, is being looked at very carefully because we have no experience with supervolcanoes. We've seen Mount St. Helens, we've seen uh, Krakatoa, but a supervolcano erupting in our lifetime, we have no understanding of the scope of that thing. We just see the evidence of previous eruptions. It's amazing, so you say it could be tomorrow, it could be in 100,000 years, but it's under there. <laughs> it's there and it will happen. At one point, it will destroy North America as we know it. That's scary. Uh, Michio Kaku, always great to talk to you. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Well, his soon-to-be-published book, by the way, titled Physics of the Future. Um, you can check it out, so look for it soon. Fascinating stuff. Thanks. Top stories coming your way in just 90 seconds. We'll be right back.